three, two, one. I'm here with Cal Poly Pomona after the finals match of the 2021 CCA Volleyball Tournament. I'm with Coach Tracy Dahl. On her right, we have Kira Zimmerman. And on her left, we have Caitlin Tucker. Coach, could you just take me through the thoughts of this match against it was the number one seed versus the number two seed? I thought we um, prepared quite well for San Bernardino. You know, we've seen him two times this season, and the players are ready for this match. Um, I think that we started off the match strong. Battle back and forth, you know, and it boiled down to just simple little things that um, that we let get away from us. You know, a few middle kills here and there, a few miss, you know, misplays, and and that's where it boiled down to. So I thought that uh, we let the fifth set get away from us. Um, we kind of tightened up a little bit where we should have been playing loose, like we've been playing all all day, all night, and um, I think that's where it boiled down to. Uh, credit to San Bernardino, you know, that's a very good team. We're a very good team. And I thought that we battled um, nicely tonight. Caitlin, okay. one of the things that happens in a lot of times if playoff things, if you lose, you're done. Yes. Um, I can't say for sure, but there's a good chance you guys will be playing in two weeks at the regionals. Yes. Things are looking good as uh, Cal Poly Pomona is number five in the latest regional poll. Mm -hmm. What lessons can you guys learn and immediately apply to that one? Yeah, I mean, after every match, we're always just looking to be better, be more cohesive, play together like a unit. And so we're just going to we're gonna see what we can improve on, and we're going to get in the gym, and we're going to be better next time. So, Kira, um, we talked a little bit yesterday. Um, we know that this is your senior year. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me why you're just proud to play with these girls and what this team means to you? Um, I think it's just a big shift, and being a senior, like, coming through, I feel like I've been in a lot of these tight matches now and just kind of helping the other team helping my new teammates like get through these things and get to experience these great things like we get to be here as volleyball players and this team just means a lot to me and it's great to go out with these people that care that much about volleyball and each other and we play for each other every night we step into the gym every day and practice and it's just a great environment to be a part of. Coach, why are you proud? What, what made this year's team special? Every team is unique but what made the 2021 Broncos fun for you to coach? I think we um, we filled some puzzle pieces with our recruiting that we needed to fill, and in all honesty, um, the 2019 team that we had, all the returners, I think we had 14 of them. They they worked their they worked their tails off um, over COVID because they didn't want to go through that season again, and it's just showing. And I'm so proud of how hard they work and how committed this team is to our positive culture. Um, they get along on and off the court, and it's just an amazing thing to see. So it's fun to coach them. You know, it's fun to come into the gym and they want to be there. You know, you can see them. They're, they're waiting on the end line, trying to get on the court, you know, before the time starts. And, you know, this late in the game, this late in the season, you don't see a lot of that. So they're ready. We're ready for playoffs. Speaking of that one, do you think it was beneficial for you guys playing in an atmosphere like this one? Let's be honest, there's a good chance regionals are here in two yeah. weeks. Um, it was it good for you guys getting that experience of playing in this gym and, you know, it's different than a gym, let's be honest, with this arena. Of course it is. I mean, we only get to play in here twice a year normally. And so this past week, I feel like we've been here every day for like a week, you know, practicing and playing and so forth. So it's been really helpful to us to get used to this type of environment and we're comfortable. Yeah. Perfect. That's all I have for you. I will say um, I'm going to pass over to Daryl in a minute, but looking forward to seeing you ladies and everyone back here in about two weeks. Thank, Thank you. you. Ladies, how much, joy, how much joy is there in playing in a match like that? Just knowing where you guys were two years ago, that like not even sniffing this stage. Yeah. Yeah. It, this is just all what we work for. It's what you play for. You want to be in, like, you want to be in the championship game. These are the opportunities that we just you play volleyball for, and so it's a complete turnaround from 2019. But that's where it started. That's where we built it from, and so it's just so exciting to see all that work pay off. And this is where we are. So. Um. What made you guys so successful offensively against a very physical, very good defensive Cal State San Bernardino team? Because for large stretches of that match, and I think even at the end, you guys ended up winning the attacking category, 222 to 209. Yeah. Um, and they don't get out attacked very often. Um, I think, first of all, you know, we've been really working hard in practice to getting everybody involved, you know. Um, all of our pins have been really successful all season and now we're getting our middles involved. So that's what's helping out the balance of our attack. You know, now we've got um, both Caitlin uh, and Rookie Kennedy um, offensively working in the middle and scoring, which is opening up everybody else as well. So that's, that's helping, you know, helping us win that offensive category.
Kira, one last shot at the regionals for you. Um, we we think yeah. next week or in two weeks. Um, kind of the, as the grizzled savvy veteran, is there something you can take from maybe your other experiences and share with the group about what that stage is going to be like, especially when you're you know you're playing in the number one seed building. Yeah, I think definitely. I mean, I think just carrying over my experiences from 2018, being in the tournament and playing Sanborn in the finals, um, kind of just carrying that feeling. And I think going into the regionals, uh, as our team, our focus is just keeping it as any other game. You know, you don't want to put, there's no pressure on every game because we're here to play volleyball. It's a new team. It's a new experience. We get to be there. And I think that's kind of the mindset that you have to go into it because some people put these games so, so high up on a pedestal, but really like it's just another game of volleyball. We're all great players. We all deserve to be there. And it's just another great game and another great opportunity to be there. Coaches, you're sitting there on the bench watching everything unfold for the last two hours. How much is that hamster trying to churn and figure out how to get your team to 25 or 15 versus just sitting back and watching the talent level on the floor? There's not much of the wheel going on. I mean, they're doing they're doing the work. You know, it's in the beginning of the school year or the season. It was like we had to really, you know, guide guide them and, and work them to to becoming a team. But we're watching them just execute right now, and they're doing it effortlessly. You know, uh, that match that match was in our hands. You know, we had it in our hands. They had it in their hands. You know, it went back and forth all night. Yeah. So um, I thought you probably saw some amazing defensive plays by the Broncos. Some amazing offensive plays. Kira's making some really good moves. We got better tonight. We just got to close it out, and we'll get another shot. I'm good, Danny. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's Thank awesome. you.